All right, hit the record button. Manage broadcast. Okie dokie. Well, hopefully it'll start going soon. Just double check. Hopefully I'm waving at people. Or at least the right YouTube screen. Yep, you got Sweet. Alright. It's going to be weird. It's going to be that delay. Okie dokie. What brush do I want to start off with? Too bad I can't figure out how to get this chat option to work on my screen too. That seems like something that'd be a good idea. I Window. Yeah, no worries. Might kill the volume on the uh, computer though, so it doesn't bleed over to this side. Alright. I think Bob Ross's channel's got a Earth Day weekend live stream, so going up against episodes of Bob Ross might be a tough deal this weekend, but we're going to do a painting anyways. <laughs> Boy, I didn't clean this brush out at all. That was a mistake. There we go. Let's pick some fun colors to play with today. Got a whole bunch of colors to work with. Hello? Mm -hmm. I said hello. Hi. I forgot how cold it is. That's fine. You know you're always wear, welcome to wear a jacket. Again, forgot how cold it was. <laughs> Do not care, because I'm kind of low key overheating. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna get myself a big old chunk of white. All right, I'm gonna just drop it right there. Get a little yellow in there, warm that up some. Uh, let's say, hey, we got a nice little situation going on right here. Straighten that yellow. Mix it right there. Got this brighter color so I'm going to come right to the edge of this yellow and just start working right into the edges of it. That creamy white yellow I threw down. Alright. I'm just going to blend this all the way out to my brush and have hardly more paint on it. Start right here at this edge. Get a little, just a touch of water, loosen that wonderful pink color up some. There we go, a little crisscross motions. We'll work our way around. This color's going down already. There we go. Just drop this extra color in the water section. I'm going to have some water down here. Alright, let's get a little bit more of that white down here. 
touch that red I was using a second ago too. Just a little bit of brush up. Just a basic red and white. Those acrylics up. There they go. All right. Clean my brush off some. I'm just working on this guy. assistant at the uh, at the chat section so you still said no so if you're typing I can't hear you sorry maybe in a second we'll get that figured out we'll come right in here right in the middle I'm gonna start blending these colors together that little touch of water will help all this acrylic paint move and blend go around and help soften some of these edges on these different sections of color. up of all that paint I had down there. Just a touch of water. Just, just a tiny touch. There we go. This little board's got a bit of a lip on the edge of it. You don't want to take the paint right there. <laughs> it's trying to fight me some. take this paint color and I'm going back and forth over this section right here just trying to get these colors to intermingle with this bright spot okay let's clean that brush out again all right Ooh, look at that I got little spots of water all the way up here a little bit of that yellow and white together. I'll mix a little bit more over here. I'll push some of that wonderful sunny color down into this water. This way have some nice reflections in there. A little bit more of that yellow and white together. Right down here. There we go. Oh yeah, that's looking good. We just want to brighten this little section up a little bit. Kind of touch of white, just white. There we go, real light. Yeah. Okay. And we want our water going side to side. So it lays nice and flat. Every time water fills a container, if you didn't know, it'll level off. And lay perfectly flat on it. So you want to make sure that all your water sections do the same thing. I'm just going from the outside edge so I can get some of these little wavy things going on in there. Oh man, I like 
that pink canvas. Get my brush all cleaned off again. I just splashed the heck out of my leg. I should put like a post down here so I don't have to risk getting <laughs> any uh, any paint on the canvas because I accidentally just got some water on it. So, you know. Alright, I'm just going to brighten this area up just a little bit more. Okay. Let's take a little touch of this blue right here. I'm going to drop it right in to this pink section we had. I'm just going to let it build off what we put there before. That white and red will mix nice and we'll get kind of a little purple color going. Yeah, start making some decisions now. Maybe. You're right here. A little foothill. Just a little foothill right there. A little lift up makes a little, little tree oh. kind of shapes off of it. Straight up together, just get a little bit darker than I had before. And we're just gonna push it right in there, right up against that other, other foothill. Maybe we just got a little another one going right here too. Wherever you want them to go. Let's get some of this green too. Mix a little bit of green in there. So it's got that red already in it. That green mixing in it's gonna dull it down some. One of your students popped in and says hi. Hey students. I don't remember which student it is. I just recognize the the icon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this whole section down here some some land yes you are the only one watching <laughs> that's okay I yeah. was gonna do it anyways whether people showed up or not <laughs> doesn't hurt my feelings I do it because I like it and figure if I'm gonna do it anyways I might as well record it it's Chris it's Chris well there's a good kid right there <laughs> I knew it started with a C, <laughs> but I'm terrible with names. Mr. Lucky. Successful YouTuber himself. Oh yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, I had to brag on you a little bit, if you didn't know. Alright, we got some good land going in there. Nice something to build on. Look at that, that's looking nice. I kind of like how this little highlight goes here. I'm going to see if I can try to keep that. I say that half the time when I like something, I end up forgetting later on in the painting and going over it anyways. Uh, Chris wants to know if you showed your daughter the painting or drawing cassette on his channel. Oh, uh, well, she's at her mama's house this week, so I'll have to wait until she comes back. So that probably means for you that you're going to have to remind me because there's no way I'll remember by Friday. But on Friday, if you remind me, I'll surely do that for you. All right, you know what? I forgot my clouds. What would this be without some fun little clouds? It'd be a cl cloudless day. That's what it would be. I'm going to come in here at this little yellow color right here. I'll just start. Just throw some clouds in there. It's going to pick up some of those colors that are still a little wet on that canvas. And it's going to blend and make all these fun little Aww. pink fluffy clouds going through there. Chris said in that video he gave her a shout out, so he's going to remind you. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I'm sure she'll absolutely love that. 
She's all into YouTube. We don't really watch TV at my house very much. We're more prone to watch just random YouTube videos than anything. <laughs> Let's get a touch of this. Oop. I got the wrong color. I'm going to use that same kind of cloudy color. And just a little tiny touch of blue in there. Just to get some, some dark features in there. Maybe these clouds have got a little bit of rain in them. We'll come right across this sunny spot. Just a little low lights with these clouds. Here and there. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm just a little side to side thing. I might come back in and have some highlights to them. Maybe I won't. Or distant wispy clouds back there too. All right, I'm just trying to go real softly over this so we can fluff these clouds up. There we go. A little just gentle upward motion. I'm not trying to put too much pressure on the brush. I'm accidentally making some new clouds as I go along. <laughs> Chris found out how to do emojis in the chat. Is that a thing? I have no idea. I don't either. Well done, Chris, I guess. I didn't know that that was a thing or an issue. All right, let's get some more of that white on there. We'll come in here just we'll find some nice bright spots to put on some of these darker clouds. Just so we have some good variety with them. Ooh, I like how it's picking up that white paint too. That white, that red paint, kind of just in the moment, blending up some nice pink colors, which is good because it'll help reflect some of the uh, wonderful sunset sky we got going on. All right, looking good. Where'd you set my phone? I was gonna look at it. I had a picture up there. Oh uh, no! You, I mean, you didn't. But I well, that's because it. it times out for ten minutes. Apparently, my phone gets to tell me when it turns itself off. Yeah. I just muted it so that we didn't hear doo -doo 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 every five minutes in the background. <laughs> well, you turned the volume all the way down. I turned it off. I muted it already. Oh, that's so why smart. I took it. You're so smart. I'm always saying. <laughs> All right, let's get some of this brown color. I'm gonna touch this blue. We'll touch this red over here too. Look, I got them all lined up on that brush. I'm gonna go take this around, get a nice clean spot. I don't have a proper palette situation, so I just use any old chunk of anything to mix my colors on. I actually got this as a part of a garage sale. My neighbor Sherry, she was having a garage sale. I went and bought a whole bunch of paints off of her. All right, let's make some big decisions. I'm going to put a tree in here. There, there he goes. You got to make the sound effects. Sound effects help. All right. Start from the top and working your way down a little bit. You want your tree to be a little bit wider at the bottom than it is at that top section. Chris asked if he, you want to use his paint palette. <laughs> Uh, no, you use it for you. Get used to it. I'm already used to using any old piece of junk that's laying around, so. Well, we also have a drawer full of paint palettes. All right, I just never grab them. I know. All right. You got a tree going there now. All right, let's get this palette map. I need to practice with it more anyways. Maybe we got a chunk of this brown right here. We'll just throw a little, little dirty, dirty path that goes through here. Move the whole canvas up so I can actually reach the bottom of it. Looks good. We'll get some more of that. <laughs> Chris, there is no cameraman or woman. The cameras are stationary. Yep. 
They don't go nowhere. It's I like, just edit stuff in monitor chats. I'll throw some tinier branches on here. Okay. I'm gonna get a little bit of this green color. Touch this blue. I'm gonna throw it right next to this brown section I threw down here earlier. It just makes up a good dark color. Yeah, <clears throat> I was saying just a second ago, Bob Ross has been doing a, whoever runs his YouTube station channel, whatever, mm -hmm. they've been doing an Earth Day marathon all weekend, so we're up against it as far as competing against the greats, but that's all right. Ah, Chris wanted to know who I am. <laughs> well, this is my significant other, Crystal, and uh, manager of the show. <laughs> and website. And website. Probably any other technical stuff I come up with as well. <laughs> I'm just the household tech guy. Yeah, I can't hardly do it myself, so I need the assistance. I'm kind of like a technological baby, <laughs> tech toddler. All right, we're just gonna throw some little little tree shapes in there. Ooh, look at that. And all those clouds, they're all covered up. You can kind of oh. see them poking through here and there, which is, I think, is neat. Uh, Chris is asking me to show my face. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna want to do that. I can show you a picture tomorrow if you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> but Sorry, I'm... Chris. I'm kind of going on one whole week of being sick, so I'm not showing anybody my face. <laughs> not today. It's pretty as a picture. I politely disagree. <laughs> this paint's still wet down here, so I'm gonna kind of just take this color and spread it out some, just to even it out. Go with that flow of the land. Ooh, look at that. I like the little bright spot it made. Let's get some of that white and that brown I used earlier. Make ourselves up a nice light brown. Over here, just touch this area up. A bit more white. Uh, Chris painted a sketchbook cover. Oh, great. I can't wait to see that. That'll be nice. Okay. Let's see. What else are we going to have in this world? Um, we'll just we'll skip cleaning the brush. I already used up all my green. I didn't put nearly enough down. <laughs> Can you me grab more? Um, I got it over here somewhere. Oh yeah, because I set it. I set all the paint up on that shelf that was down there. Plus, I got yellow and blue, so I guess I technically still have green. Yeah, but you prefer lazy green. <laughs> lazy green is handy. We'll mix it with this dark color. So I just whipped up a fresh thing of green myself. Chris wants to know if you know how much you're selling the last live stream painting for with the cat and the bird. How much I'm selling it for? I hadn't thought about it honestly. Not too much. Um, I was thinking probably a couple hundred, just off the top of my head. We'll throw in some little planty guys. Uh, let's get some black in there too. Maybe a touch of red. Let's warm this little green section up. We want to get a little bit darker than that. There we go. Maybe we'll get a little tack of things here. Chris says yes because I want it. <laughs> well, you helped come up with a lot of the ideas on it, so. That's true. We'll pick some more of this up and we'll drop some. Can you give me a student discount? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. You don't know unless you ask, Chris. Well done. That's right. That's absolutely correct. You don't know unless you ask. Or as I like to say, the great Wayne Gretzky quote, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So you mm -hmm. might as well take all the shots. All right. Maybe we'll have a little section of trees or a little bit further back over here. Okay. Oh, you're rinsing. Can you hand me that? Yellow. Yellow. This one? Nope. Oh. 
Gotcha. <laughs> Chris says for like 10 cents. <laughs> 10 cents? Well, I can't let it go for that cheap. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think that's a bit of an unrealistic <laughs> shot. <laughs> You're bartering hard, though, man. I'll tell you what. Gotta admire it. Mm-hmm. All right. He says it's 10 cents brush. is all he's got. Well, that's It'd fair. It'd be like that sometimes. Well, being an art teacher by trade, I don't... <laughs> I don't blame you for trying to catch a deal, because things are expensive. <laughs> Maybe we'll put a little... A little bushy guy over here too. Right there. We'll run right up to that trunk. We'll help fix it out later. Uh oh, there he goes. I just grew real tall. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna use this dark color a little bit. I'm just gonna put it into this tree too. Alright. We'll build it little section of Chris wants to know if here. he can paint you something and you can trade um I'll think about it I'll think about it all right let's see let's see uh let's put some bright some brights in here we need to brighten this thing up we got a nice plenty of dark space When I do my acrylics, I usually work dark and then go over it with some nice bright colors after that. Oop, that brush just fell apart. Put it back together. <laughs> All right, let's get some of that yellow. I'm going to drop it right here. Some of that old green I had earlier. Chris says he wants that painting before he moves, so he has something to remember you by. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll make you something extra special if just, just for you. I got plenty of canvas. So much canvas. All right, we'll just come in here. Start tapping in some, some brighter spots. This brush is too floppy. I don't want it. Clean this one off again. I love this one-inch brush. I could use it just about all day for the entire painting if you let me get away with it. If I had a whole section of these, I'd probably, I'd probably try to do, maybe that'd be a good idea, do a painting all with just a one inch brush. <laughs> Put some more of that yellow. We need to drop some highlights into some of these things in the background. I'm just using some of that old green from before. There we go. Maybe there's a little, little section right there. Let's get some of this raw sienna in there. There goes another one. All right, we'll get a little touch of this red. We'll warm up the next one some. There goes another one. Look at that, just like that. Use some of that color over here. We're just tapping them in. Just some little bushes and whatnot. We'll get some more of that yellow. We'll drop it right here again. Yep, there goes one too. Not, look at that. And maybe we'll get a little bit of yellow, some of that old green I had. I said I ran out of, but there's still a little bit in there. There it is. Yeah, let's put some little highlights on this guy right here. This one that raw sienna again. It's just kind of like this yellowy brown color. Go. Got some good variety going there now. And this one just goes right out in there. Uh, let's see. We'll go back with some yellow. Why not? We'll do another one right here. All sorts of little bushy guys just jumping into the picture. Get a little touch of that red again. We'll throw another little, little one of those red ones. We got red in the sky. I might as well throw some. Little red leaf bushes in there. All right, let's see. We're gonna need to 
put some highlights on this tree, I think. This is like if Bob Ross did a painting show, but he did everything out of order. <laughs> I guess it just goes to show you can do this kind of any which way you want. Do it the way you feel comfortable. Experiment. Figure out what you like and don't like. All right, we're going to get some of this. I like this raw sienna color. Uh, maybe I'll use my little trusty fan brush. I'll just go right into this one right here. Mix up a nice little tan color. Just load it up nice and thick. And just drag along that, that trunk right there. Just putting some highlights in there. Just brighten that tree up a little bit. It's so close to us. Chris says it's super pretty. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's get some of that. I'm going to steal some of this dark color from over here. Drop it in. Maybe we'll pick up some little low lights in there too. A touch of black. We'll drop it in that one. That tree trunk looks like the elm out back right now. It's got that kind of like ashy color to mm -hmm. it. I like that. Let's a little more of that black. I'm just going to mix it right in there. Chris asked what you would do if he went to a t-shirt contest for the school. Uh, what I would do? What was the question? What will you do if I went to the t-shirt contest for the school? Uh, I would support you. I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, I have no idea. I'd say good luck. <laughs> Unless you meant if you won it, maybe? I'd be impressed and not terribly surprised. You're pretty talented, so... That's the same on brand for you. I can help you with ideas or give you critiques if you're interested. Yeah, he said if he wins a t-shirt contest. If he wins. Yeah. Well, I'd say congratulations. <laughs> and uh, I knew you could do it. I do know you could do it. If you want to run any of those ideas by me, just let me know. I'll let you. I'll bounce uh, whatever ideas you need around with you. However you say that. I used to make t-shirts professionally, so happy to help. Let me use some of this tan down here. I'm going to have some variety of that dirt. I love a good worn out trail. Ooh, that's interesting. I just totally picked up all the paint from that spot right there. Fascinating result. All right. Well, maybe we'll... You know what? I like... I just did that, man. I like that. I'll drop a little bit of Planty Boys right here. I do need to give that tree uh, a friend still. Chris said he already submitted his t-shirt idea. Well then, best of luck. You're one of the best artists, especially uh, in your grade, so I'd say you definitely got a shot to do something pretty interesting there. And I like your work. I bet it wouldn't be too far fetched that you want it. Let's, yeah, I need to throw some other tree in there. Maybe we'll have one of these trees jump right in front of that that sun section. Uh oh, bravery time. There it goes. Lord help me. There's a tree there now. Chris said thank you. You'll do great, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, all right, let's get some more of that brown color. A little bit of this black. Let's get a touch of this red, too. I'm just letting hmm. it mix raw on the canvas. Chris wants to know if next time you stream, you could paint an arcade. An arcade? Yeah. Like inside of an arcade? The short answer is yes, but I'd probably have to practice that one. So I would say next stream, I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not for any specific reason other than I need to practice it. I mean, you do stream every two weeks, so well, you have two weeks. That would be interesting. I honestly don't know what an arcade would look like exactly. I haven't been to one in like 15 or 20 years. Sounds like an excuse to go to free play. What? Let's go play <laughs> pinball. <laughs> 
Okay, I guess it's a date. <laughs> oh man, look at that tree. He's so obnoxious. He just jumped right in front of that sun. I'm getting carried away with these branches, but I'm having fun, so I might as well enjoy it. Ooh, wait, look at that. I really like how this brush is putting down. You know what? I like this so much. Let's put some little sticky things in there, too. Maybe we'll have a little young tree that goes right here. Ah, Chris said he was at free play yesterday. That explains the arcade idea. I haven't been to the new location. Is it cool? It's not bad. Because I, I only went when they were at their old spot. I haven't been to the new one yet. I only went... I, think, well, I guess it went once or twice, but I can't see how I remember it that well. Well, originally I went to the old one uh, for my dad's birthday to take him to play all the pinball he wanted. We were there for like seven hours. It was insane. Lord. You're... See, your dad probably likes games a lot more. I went to free play, but I didn't do any of the arcade stuff. I played zero games the two times I went. <laughs> Did you have kids with you? I guess I just said I hadn't been to an arcade in years. I guess I should, should say... I went to an, a free play a couple times, but I didn't pay attention to a dang bit <laughs> of what was going on with the uh, the actual arcade portion of it. I guess you could say I was just there to have a, a drink. <laughs> Apparently they have a baseball basement that now has like 50 pinball machines. Uh, yeah, I went down there briefly, See, I haven't been but it was just so much noise, it kind of overwhelmed me a bit. I guess that makes it kind of a dork. <laughs> Like, nope, this is too much for me. I always just put in one headphone like I do when there's a lot of people in the house. <laughs> there's a very 90s kind of look about that, I'm sure. All right, let's... I wonder how this one look. I always want to use this little tiny brush because it's got such a neat texture to it. But every time I've used it in the past, I didn't like the way it turned out. And I'm just mixing it into this green. This has gotten almost like a dark green muddy color but it just drops this little young tree right here there he goes oh wait look at that that's great all right let's pick a little bit more up we'll get back into that blue this one is yellow just mix it right there. Nice dark color. Just start dropping in some leafy things. And I'm just tapping kind of an upward motion mostly. And I'm just trying to get my brush all loaded up as I can. Maybe got some little sticks in here holding up some leaves that we can't hardly see. Alright, so we got all these wonderful darts here. We're going to have to come back up over them. Add some light sections to it. Alright, so get some of this. Rotate my... See, this is actually an old picture frame. I don't know what used to go on there, but I just painted over it black. So I could use a canvas. <laughs> a little bit yellow, but let's make this a kind of a brighter green. So I'm gonna add more yellow into this blue. You hear me tapping that paint in there. You want to get that paint nice and in your brush. You can tell because it'll start getting this like a see those little textury things on there. That's how you know you got it good. And if you're feeling you know a little nervous, you can give yourself a little test tap on your palette to make sure you got it the way you want it. Come in here, sir. And some highlights in there. Wherever you want them. Let's get a little bit more of that yellow. I like that yellow. Maybe a lot of yellow. Let me get real bright. You don't want to overdo those highlights. Keep them dark sections in there. Baby birds. They need that uh, that protection. Predators can't hardly see them, but they're in them shadows well. Get a little more of the yellow. It makes it a little bit up like this. Come in here. 
and I'm not tapping too hard. Just enough to drop that highlight in. Let's get some of that yellow ochre from before. I'm gonna switch this color up a little bit. Yellow ochre just has a little bit of that kind of brownish color in it. All right. There we go. Yeah. We'll do that with this one over here too. Not even these two are related. <laughs> Just pick out some spots. Wherever you think that tree pops out and goes back in. I got my light source over here, so I probably want to lean into brighten those areas up first. Get more of that yellow ochre. Let's get touch that yellow too. go all right looks good now I use a fan brush with those drop some of the color down on those bushes <laughs> right, weird little dark spot right there I just tap some I don't know if I like that or not. You know what? My brush is getting so dang soggy. I gotta dry it out. Mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, there we go. It's not this dark color. Maybe. There's a little bush there. I'm dripping water straight up on my canvas. We need to start having like a designated towel that's just for. I mean, I'm, I'm literally surrounded by them. I just forget to use them. <laughs> All right, let's get some of that red. I kind of like how that red looked before. We'll drop it into that little sienna section up here. We'll blend those into each other. Get that nice and loaded up. Right here. And let's get a little bit of that yellow in there, too. All right, let's get... There we go. There we go. Maybe there's some little bushy guys who live right there too. We just covered up that mistake. Haha. <laughs> we showed it. All right. So let's get that fan brush. I uh, got six million of them. That's gotta be one of my favorite numbers because I say that I got six million of so many things. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get in here, get some of that. Yeah, the whole mixing into this old green we had sitting around. Maybe we'll blend it into that yellow ochre. Come in here and just tap in some. Chris says he'll trade you his drawing of an arcade for the bird and cat picture. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, hard sell. We'll talk in class, young man. <laughs> Though I do like the idea of trading for artworks. All right. I'm gonna put some highlights on that tree, and I think we're gonna call this one. Call this one done. All right. Let's get some of that good white paint. And uh, this is what I was using that sienna color. A little bit more white. Mix ourselves up a nice light color. I'm gonna help. <laughs> I'm gonna put that paint pot on my computer. It's probably not a good idea, but here we are. Real light. You bring the cat painting tomorrow, and he'll bring the arcade tomorrow. All right. I'll if I can remember, I'll bring him, and we'll discuss the terms of this arrangement. I'll put it in the car for you when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of hoping to sell it for real money, but I'm a sucker for my students. What can I say? There we go. Just put some little highlights on there. Okay. You know what? Hey, this tree goes right off the right off the canvas. 
He's up in front now. I'll just go ahead and tap some bow lights back in them. And that's the fun thing about the style of painting. So you can just go back and forth until you get it just the way you want it. If something turns out too bright, you can darken it up and go back over it. Painting on a black canvas is just as fun as painting on a white canvas. So every time I make one that I just absolutely don't like and I want to get rid of it, I'll just go back in later, paint it all black. Now I got myself a fresh black canvas. All right, you know, I think that's looking good to me. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out how to. I want to sign this thing. I'll brighten that section up just a little bit. And I could, I really could just work on some of these forever. But an important part of painting is knowing when to say enough is enough. I say that as I was about to stop, and here I am going again. All right, let's get my liner brush. Actually, let's get a flat brush. I think I decided that I suck at trying to actually use a liner brush, but I can use a flat brush because my name's all fresh angles, so that should be pretty easy for me. I don't think I can mess it up that bad. Ooh, I never used this brush before. It's still crispy. Mm -hmm. All right. That's one of mine. That's why. Ah, one of yours. Mm -hmm. Well, it's mine now. Haha. <laughs> All right. A little L. Chris wants to know if you can add a cat. Why do all paintings need cats? You're going to get me known as like the guy who paints cats all the time. <laughs> Not exactly the branding I was looking for. <laughs> uh, but we'll see if I can. Two, three. A cat, huh? <laughs> oh, God. All right, what the heck? You can use the new micro brushes and paint a little tiny cat. <laughs> Chris says, uh, cause yes. Cause yes. Well, that's, that's a good reason, I guess. Fair enough. I'm get some of this brown over here. Whip up a nice dark brown color. Where's this cat going to be? Maybe. No, I, I happen to be absolutely over the moon about my cat, so I do very much enjoy the species as a whole. I'm definitely a cat person, though. I do have a wonderful dog. He's a good boy. We'll need to take that good boy out after this. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Chris says, yes, it's in the tree. Let's see. Fridge scared me. <laughs> Might have to unplug that. That could be bad audio. Well, maybe uh, I'll make this cat a little bit bigger. No, I guarantee you that's terrible audio. There we go. That's that little cat in a tree. Over this little scene, looking at this beautiful sunset. There you go, kitty cat. <laughs> All right, well, it's been fun. If you want to try this painting out yourself, pick up your paintbrush, get any old thing to paint on, and go for it. And Chris, thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. it makes it fun. All right, so I guess until next time, we'll do another live stream in probably about uh, two weeks, same time. So, appreciate it. Y'all be good.